Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Nutrition Bites for week three. So today we are going to focus on a lunch recipe. And so our recipe is for chickpea salad sandwiches. So this is kind of a plant-based knockoff on a tuna salad sandwich. So let's get into it. All right, so today we'll talk briefly about the recipe and the ingredients, then we'll talk about some benefits of legumes, benefits of whole grains, and then we'll talk about choosing bread options when you're at the grocery store. We'll look a little bit more at label reading, and then I'll present to you the weekly challenge. Okay, so here is the recipe for chickpea salad sandwiches. Now this uses canned chickpeas, but you can certainly use your own if you've cooked them. Uh, the directions, which will be in the article version of this, do say to simmer the chickpeas in either their juice from the can or like clean water, just to help make them softer. You can certainly skip this step if you're short on time but just to warn you that the mixture will be a little bit chunkier. So it's totally up to you whether you want to include that step or skip it. All right, so let's talk about some benefits of legumes. Now, legumes include beans, peas, peanuts, lentils, and soybeans. And beans are one of the best foods, in my opinion, that you can eat. They are a great source of plant-based protein, complex carbohydrates, they have soluble and insoluble fiber, and so because of that, they may help to lower your cholesterol levels. They are good for our gut. They may help to stabilize blood sugar, and they are rich in vitamins and minerals like folate and iron. Now, when I was a student doing my degree in nutrition, I would work with a lot of different dietitians on different rotations, and one question that I like to ask all of my supervisors was if you were to recommend one food that everyone eat more of for their health, what would it be? And 99% of them said beans. Uh, so I think that they are just a great food to either uh, consider adding to your diet if you don't already, or to add a couple more servings a week if you do already eat them because they have amazing health benefits. Now, a lot of people do struggle to digest beans. They may experience a lot of gastrointestinal symptoms like gas and bloating. So I do have a few quick tips on making beans easier to digest. I do want to do a whole Nutrition Bite session focused on cooking with beans in the future. But in the meantime, here are a couple quick tips. Uh, first, if you're using canned beans, is to rinse them and then simmer in clean water for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, if you're making your own beans, soak them overnight, then discard that soaking water, rinse them thoroughly, and then uh, cook them in clean water. You can try to sprout your beans, and in the article, I will link a website that has instructions on how to do that. And the last one is to add a tablespoon or two of vinegar at the end of cooking. Now, you don't want to do it before you cook them because that will make them mushy, but right near the end of cooking. Uh, so just some tips for you to try. Okay, now let's talk about some benefits of whole grains. Whole grains, uh, again, are a great source of complex carbohydrates. They are a good source of fiber, which uh, can help aid in digestion. They may help to lower your cholesterol. They also can be a good source of protein and B vitamins, as well as minerals like magnesium, selenium, and iron. And there are tons of options for whole grains. Uh, we have barley, brown rice, buckwheat, cracked wheat, millet, oatmeal, quinoa, popcorn, and then whole grain products like whole wheat bread, pasta, or crackers. Okay, now I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about choosing bread options. This recipe, chickpea salad sandwiches, is a sandwich, so I want to give you a few tricks for when you're shopping for a loaf of bread at the grocery store. The bread aisle can be really overwhelming. Uh, there's so many options, so how do you know which one to choose? So here are a few quick tips to help you out. Uh, the first one is to aim for sprouted whole grains. And the reason for this is that when grains are sprouted, more of their nutrients become more bioavailable for us. So they're going to be a little bit higher in fiber and protein and vitamins and minerals. Uh, you should also look for the phrase 100% whole wheat on the loaf of bread instead of phrases like just whole wheat or wheat bread. Uh, because of like labeling regulations, if it's just says whole wheat or wheat bread, it's going to mean that it's not 100% and that there's going to be some other like white, um, more processed flours in it. So look for 100% whole wheat. 
Uh, next is to try a flourless bread. So Ezekiel bread is a really great option. And these are just going to be slightly less processed than, you know, your standard whole wheat breads uh, because they don't contain what we traditionally think of as flour. So they'll retain more of their nutrients. Uh, another option is to try sourdough. Uh, sourdough may have some benefits for our gut. And another option is to look for breads with added seeds and nuts. This is going to give a little boost of nutrients, more protein, more fiber. And then lastly, I want to talk a little bit more about reading the label. Now, here are some bread label examples. So on the left, we have a label for Ezekiel bread. And if you notice, it has only about 10 ingredients in the loaf of bread. Whereas we look at this label on the right, this is a laundry list of ingredients, most of which I don't even know what some of these are. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of added fillers, a lot of added preservatives to this. This is like a loaf of white bread. So when you're choosing a loaf of bread, flip over to the back, look at the label, and try to choose ones that have a shorter list of ingredients. This is going to ensure that they have less fillers, less additives. Uh, and if you can get ones that have organic ingredients, that's great too, but not necessarily necessary. All right, so the weekly challenge for the week, uh, I would love for you to try out a new loaf of bread using those tips that I suggested earlier. Now, if you already love the bread that you're doing and you feel like it's a really great option, I have a second weekly challenge option for you. And that is to aim to add at least one serving of legumes to your meals three times this week. And that can be by doing the chickpea salad recipe. I love to make a big batch and use it for lunches throughout the week. Super easy and super delicious. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And I look forward to talking to you all next week.